This is Jay Krishnamurti's third discussion with teachers in Gushtad, 1974. I don't know. Cominciare. I wonder how far we've gone to that question what we were talking about the other day. Was it, when was it? Sunday afternoon. We were saying, weren't we, that so far man's approach to education, to life, everything was along traditional lines. Right? The good and the bad. This must be done and that must not be done. This is right, that's wrong. And we were trying the other day to see if there was a different kind of approach to education, to life, everything, from a totally different point of from a to- totally different dimension. Right? I don't know how far you you've inquired into it in yourself and discussed what do you feel or what, what do you think, or how do you... How do you translate that into action, into teaching? Students who are conditioned who have all kinds of prejudices, demands, urges. How how do we meet that? Or please just listen our responsibility, don't jump on me, is not to the children. to the students. Does that make any sense? Wait, wait, I'm going to wait. Our responsibility is to the other, what we talked about the other day. And that responsibility will translate into action in our own life and in the life of the community of a school. Does that make any sense? I'm waiting for the physicist too. (laughs) Does that make any sense, Ted? I don't trans if I may suggest don't translate it as responsibility to God. You follow? <laughs> that the Christian, the Hindu, the whole traditional world that says be responsible to God, to the Supreme, to the highest, to the noblest, to the immer and so on and so on. And that will translate. But guess what they're trying to they're trying to say some of the same thing with using these symbols, aren't they? Yes. Now, I'm, I'm preventing myself using those words yes. and those symbols and all that. Not preventing it, I can't do it somehow.
to go from there, to be anchored there and move from there. I don't know if anchor, you can't anchor in it in the sense putting down an anchor and grappling and remaining in one place, but have the whole background of that, of that which we were discussing the other day. I think this, this would demand, if I may put in something, that at Brockwood one needs to have leisure. Not be occupied from morning till night. We were talking about it yesterday when there was a Sound Gathering Committee meeting here, how all the people around K are all occupied from morning till night doing something or other. They have no leisure to sit, watch, look at themselves, meditate, be quiet. Do you have to sit and watch to do that, Kushinji? Huh? Do you have to sit and watch no, to do that? No, not sit. Leisure. So that's to in action, aren't you doing that? Ah, ah, ah. Action is from there, not you are doing that in action. I don't know if I'm making myself clear. That's why I want to make this point. It seems there's a gap between. Huh? It seems as though it, that makes a gap. Ah, ah. <clears throat> now let's be clear. What is wrong with leisure? To have leisure to observe the trees, the flowers, and so on. You follow? Observe, be quiet. One must have leisure for that, must what? One can't walk, walk, be occupied under a stress from morning till night. Must one have some time to oneself? <coughs> so would you pick up that telephone behind you? Just answer it. Whisper. All right. Hello. Uh, do you speak English? Yes. Uh, can you call back? Oh, wait a minute. She is here, sir. But well, can exaggerate, exaggerate by saying, I must have time for myself. That's what most people do. And that time for themselves is merely uh, indolence. Merely indolence, laziness. In that withdrawal, uh, they become withered. I'm not talking of such useless waste of leisure. Well, they think they're being spiritual. Oh, that one. Oh, that. Oh, or complaining, I have no time for myself. So 
So are you saying that through having some time, say, to go for a walk alone I, or no, sit no, quietly? No, 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 no. I'm not going alone. I said, I, look, sir, my problem is this. <laughs> I see tradition has no longer significance in the sense I've used the word tradition, of which we've been talking about, right? In that field, we can dig and dig and dig and dig and become a little more better, a little more, uh, etc., etc. But that's totally un, unholy, <laughs> uncreative, un, it's a terrible thing. Now, I want to move away from that. Right? I want to move it into a dimension where energy, creative flame of energy, is always abundant, always abundant, whether I am tired, whether I am bored, you follow, is always there for me to to be involved in it. I'm, am I saying anything? Do you understand? And, and I am responsible to that. My mind is completely committed to that. And the responsibility and the flame of it is that. And I see around me, except this company, uh, traditional occupants. Occupy. They are occupied with tradition. Right? I'm not criticizing, I'm just talking so that we'll meet each other. And I say, along that way, you will never bring about a different mind. Right? Now, do we, as a group, who are going to be permanently at Brockwood, who are committed to Brockwood, right? Who are, which is their home, their work, their life, their everything there, do they see this? Because there is a community occupied with a school and an educational centre for different kinds. We'll go into that later. So are we, all of us, concerned with that? Which doesn't mean I withdraw to be concerned with that, or I'm I'm going by myself for a walk in order to remain there. You follow me? all that kind. That's all too stupid. But is my responsibility to that not? to the digging or widening the traditional movement. I dare, in the traditional movement, in that trench, I can be very clever. I can uh, educate children uh, to be much more intelligent, more or less more honest, more this and more that. But that is still within that area, which I, it, to me is an abomination. I'm sorry. So, if this is clear to all of us, hmm, and I want to be quite sure this is clear in the sense, non-verbally, 
that the traditional energy hmm, is a wastage of energy. Right? The other is not a wastage of energy. On the contrary, you have more and more of a different dimension of energy. I don't know if I'm talking. Huh? And here we are, committed to that, responsible to that, and we must then we must have leisure, time, space, quietness to find out how to translate that into action as teaching. I don't know if I'm conveying anything. Am I? No? Right. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I bring you my son. Sorry, that poor son has been dragged into this. <laughs> I bring my son or daughter. Sons are better, aren't they? There are too many ladies here. <laughs> um, and I want him to grow up in non-traditional lines, right? And I leave him under your care. And I make this very clear. Non-traditional lines. Non do this, don't do that, uh, this shall be, that not be, uh, the, um, you know, all that out. I tell that to you. What will you do? How will you educate that boy to have that perception, that reality in his mind and his heart, that dimension? So that it goes out with a flame, not with you follow. Now how shall we? How can we bring this about? And I think to understand this. One must have this kind of discussion, you follow? Which means leisure. Which means you can't be, like Miss Simmons said, forgive me, morning till night occupied, occupied, or Miss Pratt, or any. All day you must sit down, discuss, go into it, and say, look, what does it mean? What does it mean, sir, Mr. Joe? Hmm? What does it mean to abandon tradition in the sense we are talking and find us or come upon that dimension and discuss, inquire? See what we can do. You understand? I, I understand the question, yes. Um, I've been thinking about it, and I get to, and my tendency is to, to ask, answer that question with a, with a, you know, from, as we said the other day, part A or part B. Yes, part A, part B. And, uh, you know, I, I have, uh, and I think of, of actions and reasons, yes, sir. and I think of goals. Yes, yes. And it's all too easy to to see that. That's all traditional. Yeah, it's all it's all yeah, it's all too easy to see the problem. Yes, that's all traditional. Now, how will you just take it as an amusement, as a play, as a game? 
how will you come to that dimension or having that dimension, what will you do? How will you educate my son? Because when you are in that dimension, it has a, you follow, sir? It's like a flame. <coughs> right? Because the, this is not flame, A and B. Are we operating in uh, A and B now? Or? And I'm, that's, what, that's what I want to ask. <coughs> <coughs> if you are operating on A and B, you know what B is, war, and all the rest of it? A is being good, kind, generous, more polite, more. Let, I, let's say A and B. Now, if you abandon A and B, hmm, and have you abandoned it? Sorry. The Christians tried to uh, translate this in terms of uh, when two or three are gathered together in my name, there will I be present with the Christian. Doctrine. Christian. And also and the then, Hindus well, have it as but, Sangham and all the rest of it. Well, well, that is very near to what uh, we are getting at. They said in my name, which is, of course, uh, limiting it, making it traditional. Of course, of course, that is the but, uh, that's the priest's trick. If two or three are gathered together, as you would put it, responsible to the other, then the other will be present. Present. Quite right. Responsible to the other. Hmm. That's all. And do we gather in that? Hmm? And therefore, to do that, we must have left. We must have time to sit down, put all our worries out there, and come together and say, "Look, what what does it mean? How do we? You follow, sir? Inquire into all that." I think the creative energy to shall I go into that? the creative energy comes from that dimension, not from the traditional dimension. The traditional dimension can produce a picture. The picture is nothing. Or the painter is nothing. But we are dealing with human beings. You and I, we are human beings, we are dealing with each other. And can that flame of that dimension enter into that student, into that child? You follow, sir? That's all my. I want my son to live, have that flame when he leaves the school. And I don't feel it can enter passively. Hmm? I feel, I, it can't uh, enter passively. It has to. I, I look. You are responsible for my son. Don't say passively, positively. What are you? How will you? Can bring this flame into that child? One of the difficulties is when you are inquiring, as you were suggesting in this leisure period, when you're inquiring into it, that if you're not careful, you will be inquiring in the traditional way, and there will be it will be hard work. It won't be leisure. Of course, that's why I said, have we abandoned the traditional? That's a there's a river to be crossed. Hmm? I'm on this side of the river. We went into that the other day. And I have done everything on this side of the river. Worship the gods on the other side, which are my projections, and all that. I've done it for centuries. And I see the hopelessness of it. You understand? Because the, so I see, how, from that bank I must operate. You, not uh, bank. other bank. Not f 
how to get to the other bank. You follow, sir? Then we have traditional approach, practice. You follow? I must, the mind must find itself on the other bank. I have abandoned every activity on this bank, right? We could. Uh, the, the problem is that we could, we could wish ourselves to the other bank. That's all tricks. I'm not. Yes. That I mean, that's all childish. You make a picture of it, get caught in it, visions and exorcisms, you know, all that kind of stuff. I mean. That, that's all this side of the bank. I want to find my not find oneself on that bank. And I want my son to come to that bank. That is education, not all this stuff. Right? Now how how is that possible? What am I to do? Come on, sir. What am I to do? You see, I'm inquiring. You come on, put your guts into this. Sorry. <laughs> What am I to do? I've got a very nice baby, very nice child, nice face, gentle, quiet, you know. Children are lovely. Hmm? They grow up into such monsters. And they change from that when they reach puberty, there's something happens to them, right? They lose all their loveliness. Hmm? I want to prevent that. If you were a uh, student, and I could, uh, I could see that you're operating in a, in a fashion A or B, uh, and I could set up, you know, with with my action, set up a a barrier, so that that prevents you from, that you know, just stops you from operating in that in that mode. You're stopping me. Then. I'm, st I'm. 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 I'm not stopping you in the in the sense that I'm making a a rule or that I'm making a Your plan. <laughs> I'm. I'm presenting myself in front of you. Yes, but what happens then? I either copy you. Hmm? Right. Yeah, but if I if I but if I see you're copying me, then I I, I, I again block. Yes. So I go around the other way and do something else. Until and from a distance I worship you. You're my example. But then you block, you can block that, that you, worshipping. See what happens. You are blocking, 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 blocking. Mm -hmm. hmm? Is that going to solve it? Is that going to bring <coughs> in me that dimension? You are still thinking in traditional terms, blocking. Do this, don't do that. This shall be, that shall not be. Which is a block. Right? Well, I think I, I, I mean it more in a sense that that uh, there, there is some, <coughs> this, uh, you have this mode of operation, and, uh, and I want you to, 
to clearly see what you're doing, to clearly see it, to see the way you're, the, the what you are doing. And I, I, I set up as opposed to a, maybe a, the word barrier is not a good word, maybe a, a mirror. A mirror, when you, when you go to move in this, in this area, I set up a mirror. So I understand. That, so I understand. that you can't, so that you, in every way that you go to move from, from, from a feeling of A-ness and B-ness, that, that, that you see, that you continually, continually see your own operation. And then... Does the child say, age of nine or ten or eleven, or, do this? Can you do... Hmm? Can, can... Can you look in that mirror, poor chap? Hmm? So, I want to find out a way of totally different. Sorry, you understand? Is there a way? Not example, not authority, no imitation, hmm? and no resistance, so that he, he blocks himself. Now, if that's what all the traditional ways, multiply it, change it, modify it and enlarge it, that's the traditional way. All that's implied, reward and punishment. I abandon that. I abandon that way of looking at it. Hmm? I abandon it, because I see it, you follow? It's no value. Now what shall I do? I want that boy to have that dimension so that he'll never come in this field. a problem arises, uh, why not discuss it with that child? Oh, that's, ah, that's a problem. <laughs> I don't want him to have a problem. A child is very sensitive. Um, when I'm out with the child in nature, I tell it, I mean, point out to... I understand that. But I don't want him from childhood when, till he dies, no problems. Right? But we're starting in a situation where the, the child has problems. Isn't that so the situation you presented? My, no, you are, I'm not talking of the child. <coughs> I... The problem, the child has a problem when he comes to us. His condition, that's what I say, use the word condition, includes all that. And he grows up into that, gets less problems, less, you follow, or more problems, and he's in that river he's caught for the rest of his life. Now, he comes to me. And I don't want him, my responsibility is to that, and I say in that there is no problem. Sex, drink, um, we have no problem. You understand, sir? Because that has tremendous vitality. Intelligence, it has got a flame, and that flame burns out of everything. And he comes with problems. Now what shall I do? When he leaves, his mind can never create a problem about anything, right? That's the way to live. Right, sir? 
not as an idea. If, if, the, if I am responsible to the dimension, I, my responsibility translates itself to see that boy has never a problem. Right? Now, what shall I do? What is my... How can I teach him this? You understand? How can I convey this to him? By being totally responsible to this other we were talking about. I am. The question is, I, look, I, am I? No. Look, sir, this is our concern. I want to communicate in those talks in the tent. I want to communicate something. Very few people get it, but they talk endlessly and go on. It's my responsibility not only to that, but also to convey it to you. Hmm? It's, it's a responsibility there and there. Right. <coughs> but you're, gr <coughs> you're, gr <coughs> you're grown up. You are <coughs> you come there to listen. So there is a response from you. But the child doesn't have a response. Has a different kind of mind. That I'm, I'm talking of that mind. He hasn't got, got that mind. He won't even listen to you. He'll say yes, sir, no sir. But he's caught in the tradition, right? Now what am I to do? That's the question. This has to be a non-verbal. No, don't don't translate it. Look at the problem. What am I to do? I've got this boy, or the girl, conditioned. Wants to go to the pub, beer, drink, smoke, all the rest of it. What am I to do? If I say Brockwood is can't happen these things in Brockwood, I'm back here. Right? So what shall I do? <coughs> what does your brain say, sir? I'm thinking, uh, are you different from the child? Mm -hmm. Hmm? I, I'm, I'm looking at the, the question, are you different from the child? Of course you are. You are you're responsible to that. You have washed away this bag. You are not operating on that bag, on this bag, only there. Are and the poor child hasn't got that bag or this bag. He's not aware of either, except his own little demands and all the rest of it. So how will you deal with this? He wants to become an engineer, because his father is a beast little engineer. Hmm? You follow, sir? And goes on and, on and on. What will you do? Without serving, without at all feeling like being an example or uh, the, trying to look for opportunities to uh, talk or have relationships, I still want to have as much time together with this child or the children, uh, which means uh, I give a lot of opportunity to that. Are you saying, Ted, that you being there mm -hmm. by your coming into contact with the child, 
with the student, the mere companionship, yeah. the mere regard looking mm -hmm. at each other, the mere sense of nearness, mm -hmm. not physically, you understand, mm -hmm. nearness. Are you saying that will that is a primary requisite? That's a requisite. I say that I, I that I Wait, that I want that companionship. Go into it. Just yes. go. In, go into it. Hmm. That is necessary. Yes, that's what I feel. Hmm? You are not traditional. Hmm. Please, that is absolutely hmm. important. To me. You don't function on this bank at all. Mm -hmm. And you are there mm -hmm. at a diff on a different, on, on the opposite bank, not opposite, mm -hmm. a different bank at a different dimension. This, this thing is op mm -hmm. burning in you. And the student boy comes to you. Hmm? That's one of the necessary things, obviously. Mm. Hmm? Is that traditional? No, it, it isn't to me. It just seems like. Wait, I'm questioning. Do you follow, sir? I'm, I want to find out if your mind, when you say it is necessary, mm -hmm. is, it, mm -hmm. is it functioning along traditional lines? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I know, not, yeah, I know what you're asking. You, no, no, I know, I know what you're asking. Yes. All right, let's take that you are not. You are there and nearness, companionship. What does that mean? What takes place between the student and you? You say you are there, mm -hmm. that flame. I, Burning, not just waking up occasionally, it is there. Hmm? <laughs> Sorry, I get so hmm? calm. Hmm? It is there. You are there. Your mind is there. Your brain is there. And companionship. What takes place there? And you're, uh, huh? the, the child uh, feels more security. Uh, no. The child, please just listen. The child has come to you insecure, conditioned, wanting so many things, wanting your love, wanting your companionship, wanting security, a dozen things he wants. I'm asking. What takes place between the man who is who lives and functions and on that dimension and the child? What what happens? Come on, Mr. Joe. Yes, you can speak to the flame in the child. Huh? The, the, How big? <laughs> the, the 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 the. It's not as though the flame. Is completely lacking. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> is not a communication established? I'm asking what takes place. You don't mean the, the physical action. I am near you, sitting next to you, and you are living at that dimension. And what happens between us? 
what happens between us now? We are fairly companionable, fairly mm -hmm. decent people, fairly mm, not spelly, not yeah. all the rest yeah, of what's happening? There's no yeah. way that we get you back to the other side of the river. Huh? There's no way that the, the, the relationship together gets back to the... Uh, ten, yeah. Huh? Yeah. I, uh, I won't use any of this. I'm asking, there is Ted and me. <coughs> If I say I'm under dimension, excuse me, I'm not, I'm not trying to boss him. This person is living at that dimension and is consumed by it. Mm. What happens between Ted and me now? What is going on now between us? There's just energy. And it, it, uh, that I always getting ready answers. But Sorry, I didn't mean <laughs> What is taking place now, Ted? Are you functioning in traditional lines now? Well, there's awareness and there's attention. Are you functioning? I <laughs> see. Are you thinking, operating in terms of what to do? We talk about companionship. Right? In that companionship between you and me now, are you thinking of what to do? Between us? Yes, now. Or what should be, what should not be. Are you thinking in those terms? No. No. Therefore, what is taking place? He's on the other side of the river, too. Huh? He's so, the other side of the river too. Means, what is taking place? Nothing. Which means what? Which means there's no there's no motive for uh, Yes. What is <laughs> you, you refuse to answer this. What is taking place between us now? Relationship. Oh no. Don't so Relationship. A different dimension is operating. Sir, b between you and I right now, when, if, if I'm not entirely understanding something that's going on and you're speaking, then all I can do is, is just receive it. So, have you, been, have you ever been in a wood where there's absolute silence? Absolute in so there's a little bit cicadas and a little bit growling, a little bit noise and all that, but a sense of <coughs> tremendous silence. I remember one time. You, remember, you know, you've been there, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Now, you are at that dimension, and I am your companion. What has taken place in me? I am aware of an extraordinary sense of something which I have not been able to touch, right? Right? I'm aware of something. I can't put it into words, I can't put it into uh, 
description, I am aware of something extraordinary. Hmm? Right? Right. Right? Right. Now, in that state I have no problems. Right? I am I am not conditioned. I am not I say, Oh my God, my wife is running away with somebody or I want to sleep with her, this. Nothing of that happens. I am just in that. Hmm? Now, why does that take place? Well, I am. It's taking place. And I am with someone where the other action, the other activities don't happen. Yes. Uh, that means what? We have grown up. Hmm? We are both observing something huh? hmm. Of that dimension, we're both aware of something, mm. something of that dimension. Mm. So it means we both are up there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Both have a feeling of that. That's fairly simple because you are, we have worked at this for the last four days, three days, mm -hmm. five days, mm -hmm. Mm? or several days, mm -hmm. or several months. But you have got a child, a student. How will, how will you? How will you create this thing? You follow? Mm -hmm. It's not a relationship, it is not um, a companionship, it is not a, a friendliness, it is not a, my affection to you or mm -hmm. my love for mm -hmm. you or my wanting to help. It's none of that. It's all that's washed out. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. All that's washed out. Now, how? How will you bring that student to that? It's the only thing that. And it, mm. How will you? What? What? <laughs> you understand, sir? Somebody understand what I'm talking about? <laughs> this takes place between two people, right? Right? You are asking totally the wrong question. Look, sir, Mr. Joe, you and I have lived for the last four months, three months, or two months. Brock, we have discussed this thing in different ways. You are more or less have become very sensitive to this. Hmm? You've thought about it. You have broken down your. Uh, <laughs> Your own knowledge, your own uh, peculiar training, your own phys physicist outlook. You, you have moved. You wouldn't have listened to this at the beginning. You say, "What rot are you talking about?" Now you are willing to listen, and you are you are unwilling to even to answer before you would. And we are talking about that. And you also see logically, intellectually, the traditional A and B has no value anymore. Huh? So you've already moved. Right? You no longer operate in this field, A and B field. You may follow, but you're out of that category. Right? So, you are now, you have opened the door to something, right? Put it that way. And you and I meet. There is a companionship hmm, which is which is not which has no motive. Hmm? Which has no sense of, oh my Lord, he's my great friend, my only friend, I must be with him. None of that exists, right? 
So you have already observed or and come to that dimension. Hmm? For the moment, for the moment, that's good enough. Now, I I am the child, I am the student now. How will you bring this to bring me to that? You've understood my When you say I mustn't you I'll answer you. I mustn't talk anymore. You you discuss this. Something the child doesn't know, then uh, the only he has to be brought to where he doesn't know anything in the f way that he thinks that he knows. How, how else can you bring him to something else? He thinks he knows. So he thinks he knows. He wants all the. He, there is that child. Take him as he is, not as you want him to be. He, he is that what he is. The product of the parents who have quarrelled. All that is the, is deposited in the poor child. And you are on that bank and you want him to come to that bank, help him. I don't I use any word. What? What is it? We can do what you're doing right now. Because our thing is different, sir, because we are mature people. So-called mature people, we have talked a great deal about all this. We have read, we have discussed, we have attended talks, this and that. So we are more or less uh, open. But the child is not. The student is not. And listen to this. He goes home, comes back to you. Probably he's there for three years, and gone, thrown to the dogs. And you have a very short period in which to in which to let him let him make his own traps. And he'll grow in more problems for him. But if you have to bring him to nothing before he knows there's something else. So again you are talking in terms of tradition. I don't know what tradition. Of course, I told you. He, to bring him to something, to change him, to. No, I don't believe there's a change. I don't believe there's anything that he hasn't already got. I, I'm, not, I'm not giving him anything. I could be taking something if, 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 I, if I want him to see through some conditioning, but I can't give him anything. You know, he's, he's alive like I'm alive. No, of course I. What can you do within three years? Or if he comes to you youngish enough, twelve, and he leaves you at eighteen in six years, what? Life is so short, you understand, sir? Before he's caught in the trap. Well, I, I see something very strongly that uh, I'd, I'd like you to. to, to Punch it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Box. Yeah. Uh, when um, being on the other shore, uh, in this example. That's it. Simile. Simile. Right. I. I feel very strongly that there is all of the interactions, etc., etc., but that I, I actually do nothing in this most important, well, in any of the ways that the, that the, 
child or that regular traditions call for or that any situation uh, suggests I act but not with the aim or the uh, the the yeah 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 I understood I understand that but is that all is that is going to transform that kid's mind it it's it's blast they blast the heavy tradition it seems like an a, a, an extreme blast and this has made me probably what I would see and I feel that strongly but I, I look Ted we've got two problems mm. the child comes condition mm? uh -huh. student and is it possible mm? wait listen to it is it possible to produce children who are who will never be conditioned. You understand my question? We've got these two problems, you understand? This the student who is conditioned hmm? and is there a way or is there some quality, something that that the mind is never conditioned? Yes. Now, the mind not acting in the conditioned way and not trying to change them is what I was saying to me. And this is, is the same thing. Same yeah. thing I'm saying. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Are we talking of the same thing? It looks like it. Huh? That will confuse. It will cause confusion. To who? To the child. I, I'm not thinking of the child. You're thinking of, I'm not thinking of the child. Okay. The child, we know what he is. I'm trying to find out, is there some catalyst that will shatter all his conditioning. Not three years, but as he comes into your room, it's broken. You follow? That is non-traditional. You got it? I am con concerned with that, not how to uncondition take time this. That's too long. Moment he comes near Brockwood, near the house, near the room, the thing is broken. And it's my responsibility to create that thing that says he, he this bro create that flame that in that flame this condition is burnt out instantly. I don't know if you're am I talking kukudam? If I if I deny tradition, you understand, sir? Hmm? I, this must happen. You follow what I'm saying? <coughs> Which means I must see traditionalism with crystal clarity. No, no. That's understood. But not the, begin all over again. I'm not interested in your seeing. <coughs> you see, you are again going back to the dead blast of tradition. I must see clearly.
that's a good point to take up. I come into your room, I come near you, Brockwood. As, as a student, condition, you mean? Uh, condition. Mm -hmm. I come near you. And your responsibility is non traditional, hmm? non operational in the traditional field. I must see clearly this. Your responsibility is living in that dimension to blast my conditioning. Not over a period, the moment I come near you. You understand, sir? I think. No, I won't say what I think. Mm -hmm. You understand? You're, as I come into you, there's something takes place. And every time. His conditioning is gone? Huh? His conditioning is destroyed? Something has broken in me that says, I am not. It's all. Something happens to me. Something no, happens. You are. <laughs> You are making literal. Has this happened to you? Coming into this room, sitting, talking like this with you and I, has your conditioning broken? You may look. You, hmm? you understand what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Has it? Hmm? I think it has. Then, if that can happen, why can't it happen there? It can happen there. Huh? If it can happen there if. if if what's happening in this room happens at Rockwood, if it happens it, in every It is example, your responsibility. It is your responsibility. Then it will happen. And it's your responsibility. The difference is we're not children. Hmm? We're not children. I said we've been through all that. So, yeah. You create the atmosphere, don't you? Well, we can we can do it, uh, but I think we have to learn. At least I have to learn how to do it with uh, with a certain gentleness too. Don't go back to this. Mm -hmm. You're already <coughs> stipulating what you should do. So, look, we Ted said companionship, right? Here we are sitting together, we are companions. I'm not opposed to you, are not opposed to me. We, we, are, we are sitting together talking about this. And the very atmosphere, very essence of this breaks down other things which are not essence. You, you follow? So are the flames here? Huh? Are the flames here? Flames? You, 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 you suggest that here we've broken our conditioning, but to do that there must be a flame. No, no, <laughs> no. Look, sir, look. First of all, we said. We have always been functioning in the field of A and B. Yes. Hmm? And that will not bring about a new mind, a new, yes. new burning mind. A mind that's really, you know, excellent in the highest degree. 
And so I say, all right, I abandon that. I don't even want to smell it, touch it, look at it, it's finished. Because it hasn't done a thing in the world, world being human beings. So I, and I have operated, this mind has operated on this back, on this side of the back. And I am saying, if it operates from that side of the bank, the thing is over. And we have always said, how am I to cross the river? Mm-hmm. Which is traditional. Mm-hmm. Carried by a boatman, by a guru, by a saviour, by a Christ, by somebody or other, take me over there. I, that's, hmm? mm-hmm. that's utterly traditional and stupid. I abandon that. In the very abandonment of it, I am there. Total abandonment of it. And then I come to Mr. Jenkins and say, My friend, we are, you are part of this Brockwood community affair. Come over to this bank. Don't ask me how. The how is back again the tradition. Right? Don't ask me what you are to do. If you do, you're back again. That's why before we I ask you to come to the other bank, I say you have you dropped this tradition altogether. If you have not, then you are not on that bank. I can discuss this with you, I can talk, have a dialogue, a, a series of discussions, so on and on and on, for perhaps two or three months, hmm, till you see it. Because I want you to move out of your tree, because my, my passion is that. Right? And I bring my son to you. He's watched me and my wife quarrel, hit each other, quarrel, disgust me, all that stupid thing that goes on in our family. And he, there he comes, he's conditioned. And it's your responsibility, being on that bank, to break this conditioning. Not over a period, break it instantly. So he says, yes, I know now. I understand. I have a feeling want to put it all out. What you're saying, sir, is being on that bank, it's automatically broken. Of course, the moment, being on that bank, the moment you deny the whole of this traditional bank, there is nothing more. And he and he feels that automatically. Uh, uh, not, not, not automatic. There's but, nothing automatic. Um, I I come to you, condition as a boy. Have, and you you are living there on that si- on that on that side, and you are different. You are there in you. There is this thing burning. Well, I come and you. Something happens to me. I'm talking, huh? Is this happening between us? If it is not, Don't say why it doesn't happen, because it might be laziness, it might be you don't want it, you like this and you like that, you like sex a little more, this and this, and all that. Not that I'm objecting to sex and all that. Oh, God. And I'm saying, why doesn't it happen to you? Is it my fault? 
because I'm not on that bank. Or I want to convert you so passionately to that bank. Therefore, my passion is is pushing you, not your own burst. You understand, sir? I don't care. All that I want you as a group of teachers committed to this to transform my son. I don't care what you do. Right? Naturally, I don't want you to beat him up. <laughs> but Having stated all this, it is your responsibility, your creative movement. That's real creation, not this bloody painting. I'm sorry. So I've got two things to uncondition the mind and to see if a child can be produced who is, who is incapable of being conditioned. You understand, sir? I think I think it is possible to have a child who is not conditioned, born to a family in in an area where this bank predominates. You follow what I'm talking about? This bank, bank. this predominates. The child would not would not be conditioned. I mean, if the parents were had the sense of the other man, have this real deep sense of the otherness. Hmm? You understand the otherness. I think things happen differently. Have you seen this happen? I think I have. I mean, with children. I I think I have, with a child anyhow. Can he come to Brockwood? <laughs> <laughs> He's there, poor chap. <laughs> <laughs> It's a different thing. You see, sir. Is it question? Is it a different thing? Is it a different thing? No. Look, I'm talking about K when he was a boy. Oh. Must I? I dot the eyes across the teeth. It is not really. You see, we don't think in these terms. We don't feel in these terms. The question to you, weren't you educated from A and B and disregarded it totally? It never entered my Exactly. But you had no companion. No. It's not a, an educational process. It's not an educational process at all. It. Therefore, what takes place? If you say it is not an educational process at all, hmm? 
and the child is with you. What will you do? Not teach him ge- geometry and physics? That has to be on the Therefore, what will you do? If you say it's not an educational, which means communicable process, mm-hmm. education is a form of communion. What will you do? You have to apply your mind. What will you do? Sorry, I'm not interested. It has happened here. You follow? But it happened apparently from what you've described. Despite. Dis- exactly. Despite. Obviously. All, obvi- the, all the A all and the B. Yes. Absolutely. Them. Yes. Therefore, it happened. It is despite of your condition this has happened to you. This more, right? Yes, but the flame burns within you. It's nothing that was done from the outside that brought this about. No, I could. You're but talking about two different what? things. I'm oh. talking. We're talking of two different things. That's what. Well, are we? Leave K for the moment aside. Well, why should we? All right, don't leave the K aside. I'll we'll take him off. <laughs> I will go into this little bit, you will see it. There was K born to a very poor Orthodox religious family, hmm? Brown, tremendously traditional, temple going, having 13 or 12 children in spite of the temples, poor, and malaria ridden, and they grew there. Probably was so utterly vacant. You understand? You understand, sir? That nothing went in, nothing came out. You follow? To this day. Huh? To what? this day. What? To what? this day. Till Til today. Nothing went in and nothing came out to this day, right up to now. Yes, sir. But I've seen a photograph that denies that. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm... In the face is the, is the other bank. Yes, but it, because nothing entered. But, yes, but that is a no, supreme, a... unique... Yes, this mm. is how can this? Um, I'm off. That's why That's I didn't want. Show. I don't want to enter the but uniqueness of the child. But you're asking us to do that. Mm-hmm. You're asking us to do that. Somebody, Ryan, I think, asked, "Has this ever been done?" And you said one child, and this one child. It doesn't seem to be a, an example. No, you are missing my point. You are missing my there. point. You see, <clears throat> there is the theosophical. Story. You are interested in this? Yeah. Huh? I think we should follow it through, sir. There is the theosophical concept which says. Ladder. Ah, no, 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 no. Just a minute, no, no. Theosophical concept says that there is a great world teacher who incarnates into the physical world when <coughs> the world is rotten, <laughs> they put it differently, when the world is immoral. And <coughs> that teacher has given orders to his disciples to look for a body, sorry to laugh, who will be used. We, we don't laugh at it. It is, sir, you miss, if you laugh at it, you won't get the content of it. They chose other bo- another boy. 
because it is the tradition in India and in the Tibetan scriptures that where there is corruption at its highest, then the world demands that teacher to express himself. And uh, these people were looking for a boy to be the vessel. They had chosen a boy, and the boy was being trained. And another boy called K came along, and they said, My God, that's the boy, not that boy. So they dropped him and picked up that boy. And they formed around all the rest of the organization around him, tremendous line and all that for he went on like that for till nineteen twenty eight. <clears throat> then he was thirty two. Nothing came in, nothing went out, right? Are you following this? Mm-hmm. And the idea there is the body, the mind of this, or the brain of this boy was kept untouched but for the teacher to operate. That was the idea. So this, this, this is tradition, this goes to very old tradition in the Jewish tradition, in the Hindu tradition. It doesn't exist in the Western tradition. In the Eastern tradition, it's tremendously old. This, this is nothing. Only they translate it in a peculiar way of the Western world, and so on. And it, it was kept untouched. Untouched. You mean that the the people who the were bringing this boy up. Did not attempt to influence the. Oh Lord. yes, they did. Oh, they did. Oh, right. so he was not untouched uh, because they, people you, didn't want to touch him. They were trying to influence him. They were trying to tell him what to do. They told him, kept him doing this, and he but untouched. untouched. So he remained untouched. But until thirty-two, he put on the garb and the cloak, and the behavior contradicted the vacant state. Why? It's come coming. <laughs> The theory is that teacher hmm, protected the body. <laughs> Please laugh at it or what? That, that teacher, as he was going to use this instrument, hmm, had to be kept clean. So he protected it. That's one idea. The other idea is. Whole, re, you know, reincarnation, all that. Many, many lives have been gone on, and at the right moment, that, not teacher, that sense of greatness operated, and kept it intact. You can do what you like. I, I don't know why I'm telling you all this. Yes, that's a relevant question. Uh, why am I telling you? Yes. Because he asked me. Or somebody asked me here, why is it that K, my brain, was not conditioned? Right? And previous to that, I said, it is possible to bring about such a mind, such a child, if the parents live at that altitude. You follow? Was I, there such a person in your life? Huh? Was there such a person? No. In Kay's life. No. Therefore, what is the problem? I don't see it. I don't see what you're saying. You're saying there was no companion that you um, kept yourself clean or vacant in order. No, I didn't keep. My brain was vacant. Then what have the parents got to do with it since they had nothing to do with it? They had nothing to do with it. Well, what are we as teachers at Brockwood? What are you to do? Aren't You're trying to draw a parallel, aren't you, sir? No, sir. I, you, we are two talking at two cross purposes. I said, is it possible to to enter into your community, into your presence, and because of your presence, the thing? 
withers away. Remember? I said that. Because of your presence, of your atmosphere, of your sense of tremendous living there. And the other was, can there be a child who is never conditioned? You follow? I put that. That may be a stupid question, irrelevant, unnecessary question. I was going about it myself because I've been thinking a great deal about this. Because if there is only one man that does it, then it is a hopeless business. You follow? Also, if it can only be done with a child who has never been touched, because we will never probably ever see such a child. Such a child. Is it not possible? It at Brockwood, you follow? Having this, the, your presence, your feeling, your, a child there who grows up completely open. You understand? That's all. So this, we have gone off a little bit off. Does that mean we would have to, uh, to work with children that are very young? No, you jolly well have to produce them. <laughs> <laughs> They're only too willing. <laughs> no, no, I'm no, no, no. Don't, Miss Pratt, don't say of course or not of course. I just brought this out because the presence is so important. You understand so what I mean by presence? This sense of being on the other shore, sense of otherness, sense of something immense, that shore and all that. If that is there, that very thing will create. Did, did, did you always did, have that sense? Probably. <laughs> what, what happened at the age of 32? What happened at the age of 32? Probably you woke up. Till then, it was more or less, you know, fooling around. So perhaps I feel that what might come out of what we've been saying is that if there is that presence of Rockwood, yeah. there being that you presence, are there, right? There being that present, perhaps if there is such a child in the world, another such a child, that child will be drawn to the maybe school. or and don't that maybe something strange will take place. Life is so strange, sir. Mm -hmm. Why should you be sitting there and I is here talking to you? It's so strange. Isn't it? Huh? Isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Strange. So anything can happen. But the that you as a group must have this, then you will anything can happen in that. Can it happen within a traditional framework? Because no. the school itself is a traditional framework. Huh? The school, the Brockwood School, no, is no, a framework. I know. I'm not talking of the school. The, the group. Out of that, you say that school is is a form of education. You, traditional. I mean, of course, they've got to learn mathematics, physics, geometry. Otherwise, their brain is remains uncultivated. They will become stupid entities. Did your brain have to do that? No. no I'm good at reading novels. <laughs> <laughs> so education as we know it is not necessary. And, but you see, don't take me as... For the, look, I'm talking about having a group of people who are completely dedicated, completely responsible, completely with that flame, strange miracles happen. Why should you all be sitting here with a chap who is born in this rotten little town, filthy little town? How does it happen? This is a miracle, right? And you, if you feel that, you will have been something marvelous happen there.
Anna, as long as I'm going to be here and Prakula, I'm going to keep on at this. So, I, so that we have leisure to sit down and talk, go into this. And you must come with a letter, with a mind that says, My God, I have left the, this boiling, I must rush out to follow, or I must answer that letter. You must come together having letter. Right, sir? Must come without any strain. The mind not strained, pushed around, quiet. Kia ora, Che. Pointed towards the general. When do we meet again? Tomorrow. I've got to talk tomorrow morning. So I can meet tomorrow, or day after tomorrow better be, huh? No matter how we are, no matter what bank we're on, we're still operating with. We have to operate of with a certain I'm amount of tradition. We're, we're clinging to it. We're but clinging. No, I must leave the tradition. But you still have to have a roof over your head. Of course. Yeah. I must. No, no, no. You don't have to? No. I must leave. The bank of tradition. Then I will have a roof or no roof. I will sing or not sing. I will educate in different. But the thing I must move to that bank. That is the principal thing. Then I'm. I will educate my son totally differently. The very teaching of algebra will be the. Because it helps my mind. It didn't help mine. <laughs> Some minds may want it. No, you are, your mind may not want it. Somebody else may want. Uh, if you're going to build a bridge. Huh? If you're going to build a bridge, you of need. Of course. To... Somebody wants sculpture. Somebody wants to write. I don't know. Really. But this, this one. Yeah is, uh, for the most part, uh, operating out of uh, conditioning. Yes, absolutely. That's just it. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's still hanging on to tradition, to my mind. But there's no, much more. It's, it's uh, just pure function. <clears throat> one, is, one has to produce You'll people You'll find how to function without that. All you right. Go, Do it. What are we doing but that? I, are we? Of course we are. I don't, please, don't, let's get excited. Are we? I'm not saying you are or you are not. Are we? Have we left this bank of tradition? Would we have started it if we hadn't? My darling, we Sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, have we... I'm let's... not defensive either. I'm stating facts. I am asking you, have we... I'm not saying we are doing it or not doing it. My insistence is, have we left the bank? I don't say you have or you have not. If you have left it, you are on that other thing. If that other thing operates, you will use any tool. No, any you are not cannons, but you <laughs> you will use the algebra, whatever you teach, as a means to convey the other. Right, sir? I don't see how you do it. That's our that's our creative thing. I don't see how algebra can point to something that's totally on a, in another world. It's the. It, it's the communication. Huh? It's the communication of teaching algebra that does I'm not it. talking of. An I, am con wait, I am consumed with the otherness, burning with it. And I've got a child. Hmm? 
he must be able to read. He must be able to write. You'll find out from his interest in what he has to say, the same as you did. He, he, I, I, I've got this child condition, you understand? He must. Don't take me, please, don't. Don't take me. Relax and go to theatre. <laughs> <laughs> He has to have. All right, put it around the other way. How am I living on that bank? Help create in him that something which will help him to write, to, you follow, flame in himself. You understand? How am I to? How is this to take place? I think we are getting confused about this. If you say no child at Brockwood need to learn anything, right? No mathematics, no, nothing. But be in the presence of us. Hmm? Would that bring the flame in that child? Be with us. Don't do anything. Don't learn, don't read, don't know nothing. I feel. I don't know. I, I don't know. Would I, as a parent, send my child to you? Probably not. Hmm? Probably not. Certainly not. But then parents are not interested in something that's holy. Wait, wait. Take yourself. You are the group. You have got that presence, that otherness. You are bottling with it. And you are, there it is, in Brock. And I, I have a son. I send him to you. Knowing, I want him to be have that presence, that thing. Right? What? Would any sane man, sane parent, send him to you? Facing the world as it is. They wouldn't. But having sent, you have to create this thing in him, or this thing boil in him. If that boils, then he can, out of himself, out of his eyes, ears, whatever the thing he puts his hands to, will, will blossom. You understand what I'm saying? You say, can you put it on the other? Can you create a genius? Which is the same thing, genius, not in the stupid tradition writing a marvelous poem and drinking himself to death. I don't call that creativeness. Picasso may be a marvelous painter, but he's a rotten life. We follow all that. I'm not talking all those people who are so called creative. Can and consider genius. I don't consider them genius at all. They just have a certain gift and run their talent to death. The rest is rotten. That's, sorry. Now, can you create in your presence, in with that thing, a genius? Genius being having that flame and whatever he touches. Whether it's mathematics, painting, it will be of that. Which means his whole life is that, and this is merely uh, in a, a gesture. You follow what I'm saying? Are you following this? So, 
What is an Emilia gesture? No, Painting, writing, that's a gesture. From him? Yes, he doesn't care whether he dies, does he? Oh. I'm only asking, I'm not asking, if the traditional bank is left inwardly, totally, then you're on the other, then that flame is there. And that flame, if all of us have, we will create a, such a thing, the child will burst with it. Sorry, I keep on repeating this. But when Mrs. Simmons says, "Need I need need I need she learn mathematics?" Hmm? Why shouldn't he? Learning is a product of thought. Yes. Why should he? Why shouldn't he learn it, mathematics? Is that learning mathematics tradition? Is learning tradition? You are learning now, aren't you? Huh? Is that tradition? But if you have learned, if you are learning and, co- and are still living in the traditional world, you make that learning become traditional. That's all. I've stopped. <laughs> Sorry. So on Thursday at four o'clock. Thursday. Do we?